Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Always back with another Revit project tutorial. So this is a house project. I'll be making a 2D plan and a 3D model. So we're gonna start our project by clicking architectural template. Okay, so this is what you see when you start your architectural template, all right? So on the left we have project browser and properties. So in the project browser you can see your floor plans ceiling plans, elevation and many more. Just to show you guys what I'll be making in this project. This is the 3D model I'll be making and then this is the plan alright. So we're gonna start building our plan first and then I'll show you how you can make elevations and a 3D model. Alright so before we start working on our 2D plan we're gonna go to my manage tab click on project units and make sure you've got length set to feet and fractional inches click ok select your area make sure you select square feet click ok volume cubic feet all right click ok and that's what you need to do now let's go to our architecture tab and then click on this arrow button in a wall command you got three kinds of walls here wall architectural structure by face these two walls are grayed out i'll explain them later in the project so now let's select this wall architectural go to your properties click here and then you can see different kinds of walls available so i've got this brick 200 mm wall i've got generic walls so what i want to select is generic 200 mm wall okay click on it and then click on edit type you can customize your walls so i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to click on this preview if you want to see your wall preview you can click here okay so now here you got your family your type and few more information about your wall i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to give a name let's say house wall click ok all right so any changes you make here now this is going to apply on this wall not the wall we selected okay so let's click on this structure click on edit this dollar box basically give you information about your structure of the wall so i've got one structure here material is default wall thickness is seven inch so i'm going to change that to let's say seven inch okay and then i'm going to add another structure to the wall click on insert and then give about two inch value so this is going to be our brick which is going to be outside the wall and this is going to be concrete which is going to be inside the house okay so click on this box button here and then find concrete you can type here c o n c it will show up so i'm going to select concrete lightweight and click ok as you can see that we got the concrete there now i'm going to click here and then click on this small box and then type brick I'm gonna select brick common click OK now we got our wall set up alright so you can add many more structure to your wall but for now it's fine I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna click OK and now let's go and select this wall so I've got this house wall 3 selected now let's start making walls okay so I'm gonna start from this corner I'm gonna take my cursor up and I'm gonna type 40. So the first value you type and press spacebar and the next value is going to be inches. So this, for now, I will just need 40 feet so I'll type 40, enter. Take your cursor to the right, then type let's say 30, enter. Then I'm gonna go down about let's say 10, enter. Go to the right, type 15 enter and then go down okay so if I hover my cursor here as you can see that Revit is trying to snap that there so click here and then click here all right so this is our wall to get out of the command click on this modify button or you can press escape twice okay so on the right we got this box here this is basically zoom zooming commands and you got your build there okay so i'll show them when I'm, whenever i use them okay in the project so as you can see the wall but you don't see that structure of the wall so you go here and click on fine now you can see the structure of the wall 
And if you change your viewport to shaded, you will see the exact structure of the wall. But for now, I'm gonna change that to wireframe and I'm gonna change that to course. Okay, so over all the walls are done now. I'm going to make another wall here about, let's say if I snap here and then take my cursor here, this side, and I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna take this to about 10 feet. I think this is too much, so I'm gonna delete this wall, select the wall again, and then maybe six feet is fine. And then go right to about, let's say 18 feet. Or you can snap it to the top so I'm gonna delete this and gonna select the wall and I'm going to make sure that wall line location is center line so I could snap that properly all right so let's say I'm gonna take it here and I'm gonna snap it to this wall I'm gonna go down all right and then I'm going to select this wall and I'm gonna go to this is our modify panel okay any object you select you get the related modify panel okay so I'm gonna go and select this split with gap okay and then I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna click here okay and then let's select this wall and maybe get rid of it okay it's not center line so what I can do now I can select this wall and I can just align it to this wall so I'm gonna go and select my align tool select this and then select this one all right as you can see that it's done so I'm gonna select this line and I'm gonna select this line that's been fixed okay so this is the auto binary we got now I'm gonna go and select my wall command again press escape twice to get out of the command and select your wall command all right so this time i'm going to select a different kind of wall so i need to select wall 90 mm with the brick so let me find that yep we got this here and i'm going to start from this line and well now i'm going to change something here so i want to change to exterior face or interior face let me find out okay so we got this I'm gonna select exterior face all right so now I've got this one here I'm gonna take this all the way up okay and then I'm gonna draw another line from this line to the right and then I'm gonna take this down and let's go and align this so I'm gonna select this wall I'm gonna click on this align tool and I'm gonna align this, sorry, align this, this line to this line. All right, done. Okay, so we got that now. And let's make another wall here. Select the wall command again, starting from this point, and just drop it all the way here, okay? I can make another room here but that's going to be very small room so I don't want to make that all right so let's find out the dimensions now okay so we have if you click on this object you see the dimension so now I'm gonna go and select this dimension and change that to 14 okay maybe that's not a wanted so I'm gonna go and click on this undo button and select this wall Okay, so you need to select this wall and then you see this dimension there. So I'm going to select this wall first and I'm going to change that to about 14. And then undrawn objects, that's fine. And then I'm going to go and select this and then trim and extend. And done. And then you need to align that. Click here, click on your align command, select that and then select that. Okay. That's done. Well, it didn't work actually, so I'm gonna undo, and I'm going to select align command, and then you select the object first, the one you wanna align. So select this one, and then select this one. This is going to fix that. Okay, so we got this now, and then I'm gonna make another room about, let's say, select your wall again, 
starting point here. So, so far we have this right now. These are just the basic commands I used to make these walls, right? Alright, so now let's go and change some dimension for the walls, okay? So I need one room here, so I'm gonna go and select my wall and I'm gonna start from here to the left and then make another wall probably about here to the left, alright, and then pretty much that's it, okay? I'm gonna select this wall now and now as you can see you got your dimensions there, right? I'm gonna change this to about let's say seven feet exactly all right and then I'm gonna go select this wall and I'm going to change this to let's say 12 feet so if I select this line and I'm gonna go let's say I've select this line all right and now if you guys zoom in you can see the dimension I'm getting which is six eight feet and some decimal value is coming from the center line not the corners of the wall so what i want to do here i want the dimension from this line to this line inside the room so to change that there's two ways you can do that i'm going to select this wall if you click on this circle it's going to give you a dimension from the inner line so if you click on it twice so it will change eventually to the inner side of the wall but you got to do it every single time when you select the dimension which is Kind of pain in the ass so what i want to do here i'm going to go to my manage tab and click on additional setting and click on temporary dimensions so here you see the walls got center line so i'm going to change that to faces okay and i'm going to click on this opening so not the center line but doors and windows as well so i'm going to click ok and now if i select this line now you can see that i've got this dimension from this line to this line inside and I've got another dimension from center line and the center line so which is a lot easier now I'm gonna select this wall now and I'm going to change the dimension okay I'm gonna select this wall now and I'm gonna change as you can see now I've got the dimension from the faces okay so I'm gonna change this to about let's say seven feet all right and then I'm gonna select this line I'm gonna select this line and change this to 11 feet and then change this to about let's say 4 feet so we got this one there and I'm gonna change this wall to about let's say I'm gonna change this to 17 I hope I have enough room here to put the door for this room okay so this is what we have right now Alright, so now I'm gonna go and show you guys in a 3D. I'm gonna click here. So this is what we have right now, yeah? This doesn't look right. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go back to my level one floor plan and I'm gonna change the shaded and I'll change the fine. Now as you can see the outside we got the wall. So I wanna change, select this wall. I'm gonna go and select my wall command and I'm gonna go and select this house wall tree I'm gonna click on edit type and I'm gonna go to edit structure and I'm going to select this I'm gonna move it down so I'm gonna click OK apply click OK and now if you go to your 3D view you can see that you got your brick wall outside so this is basically a structure wall which I wanted actually so this looks all right for now but i want to do some changes here okay so let's change that to wireframe and course okay so now let's have a look so if i select my elevation okay here you got that our walls are going all the way up so here i want to change that i'm going to select the wall okay and then i'm going to change the base constraint to level one and then top constraint, I want to change that to level two. Okay, and apply. Now you can see that wall has gone to level two. All right, so now let's add some levels. In your elevation plan, you go click on this level, 
and I want to make a few levels here. I'm going to starting from here, I'm going to snap that to the right, and I'm going to make another level about here, and I'm just going to stop plot that here, and I want to make another level here, and I'm going to drop that here. Okay. Right. So now what I can do here, this is our. I'm going to select this. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to type floor one I'm gonna click on yes to accept that and I'm gonna select that and as you can see if you zoom in you see this arrow button here I'm gonna click here it's gonna give you an option to change that text and take it whatever but this is floor one right so I'm gonna select this and give value of foundation top foundation okay click yes done and then the value would be minus 9 so I'm gonna go 0 minus 0 space minus okay so this is minus 9 now okay so this is going to be our foundation let's say bottom foundation click yes done and then this one is going to be about let's say minus four three okay so we got floor one top of the foundation there and i've got my level one floor there okay so i'm gonna go and change the value to this one to i'm gonna give this value about let's say about 10 feet okay so our floor has gone down and i'm gonna select this level and i'm gonna click on this button here I'm gonna drag this a little bit up okay and I'm going to change this to floor slab okay and then I'm gonna change this level name to floor sorry roof my bad my English is not that great so Okay, I'm gonna change this name to Roof Slab. Click on yes, that's it. Okay, so we got pretty much done now, okay? So let's go to our level one now. Sorry, floor one now, because we changed the names now. Okay, this is our floor one now, okay? So let's add some doors and windows now. So I'm gonna go and Let's make some changes here. Let's find out the dimension for these things. I'm gonna select this line. I'm gonna give this value about eight feet, and this line is going to be about seven feet. Okay, and then another room here. I'm gonna select the wall command. I'll just roughly draw a line about from here to let's say here. Okay, so I'm gonna go and select this line, and I'm going to seven feet. This is going to be another um, toilet or bathroom you can say all right so we have done pretty much everything we needed in our first floor plan now let's add some doors and windows to it so i'm going to go and select our door and i want one door here so i go to my properties and as you can see that i've got one door here okay so but i want to add some bigger door here so i'm going to click on this load family you can go to your insert and click on load family here but I'm gonna go and insert and click on door and I click on Lord family and now you gotta browse to your US Imperial folder in your Revit so I'm gonna go and click on doors let's find a door about our liking so I'm gonna select let's say that door okay double click and then click OK now it should be adding okay so I'm gonna go and select this door 60 inch by 80 that's fine and I'm gonna just drop that about here okay so this is the door we have right now I'm gonna go to my 3d view and let's have a look so to orbit your 3d view all you do is hold down your shift key and you press your mouse wheel and just move around okay well that door looks fine I'm gonna change that to shaded yep that's beautiful I like the way it looks okay so let's go and change that to wireframe and then go to floor one 
okay and then add some generic doors I'm gonna go and select my door again select here and then I want the door to be about let's say that door is that dimension is fine okay and then I'm going to add a door here let's say you got this here if you press spacebar here it's going to flip that door so which is really easy so I'm gonna go and just drop that door there and then I'm going to drop the door about here alright so we got our doors done now and then I'm gonna go and drop some windows so I'm gonna select the window command and let's find out how many types of windows we got we got only one type of window which is a bit basic so I'm gonna click on load family navigate to your US imperial folder and let's find windows so I've got this windows folder here I'm gonna use my keyboard arrow button and I scroll down so what windows do I like yep that's what I like for one of the things so I'm gonna select that and it's gonna give me some dimension for that window right so I want this to about 36 by 72 or maybe 36 by 48 so one, one window here and I want one window here the same window is going to be well let's change okay let's change that to fixed this window and let's drop that here and I'm going to select those two windows now 36 by 48 and I'm gonna drop that one here and one here alright and then I can drop one window there at the back as well there's gonna be one window here as well okay so just drop one window here another one here that's cool alright so pretty much our plan is ready I'm gonna go and check that in the 3D view. So this is our 3D view now. Hold on your shift key and try to zoom. We got one arrow here. So I've got this wall, what I made later. So I'll just select this wall. In the 3D view, you can change that. You can drag this vertex and just drop up and down, but which is not a recommended way to do that. So what I wanna do here, I'm gonna change that to top constraint to roof slab. Apply. This is automatically going to fix that for us. I'm going to change that to course. And let's say hidden lights, which is a lot better. Alright, so cool. So our doors are done now. So I'm going to add a floor now. I'm going to go to my level 1, which is going to be floor 1. And then I'm going to go to my top of the foundation. Okay, and now here I want to add a floor. So click on this floor command, select that architectural floor, and now in the modify panel you've got this draw panel here. So make sure you select this pick walls command. You can manually do that as well, but I prefer doing that pick wall. So select that pick wall, and then I'm gonna select this wall and this wall. You can always go and edit the boundary by using these tools. You can draw a rectangle or you can do um, slope arrows here on the floor as well. I'll show that in a later, but I'm gonna accept that by clicking on this check mark button. Okay, so it's giving me an error now. It's telling me that the line must be closed. So there is an error in our drawing. So the best way to figure that out is if you try to accept that, it's gonna give you these red dots. So this is the error, okay? I'm gonna click continues and I'm gonna use my trim and extend command select this select it. it's gonna fix that all right and go back and then click on the check mark button and let's go to a 3d view all right so this is our floor done now this is basically on the top of our foundation which is not good so I'm gonna go and select this floor and let's say where is it so I'm gonna go to my base constraint would be it's gonna be on the top of the foundation that's fine height would be about let's say 9 that's going to be 9 feet which is not good so I'm gonna 9 inch and I'm gonna change the value to 0 let's find out apply okay so 
9 inch it's fixing that for us so let's see what we have here okay so I'm gonna go to my level 1 okay and now I'm gonna make another section here I'm gonna make a section here to find out what's we have it that's the section there okay and I'll right click on it and I'm gonna click on go to view okay so now we have top of the formation here and I've got my bottom foundry which is going to be 4 feet and we've got top foundation 9 inch and then floor 1 okay okay so now our floor is done I'm gonna add some structural wall now so let's go to our bottom a top foundation and here I'm gonna go and select the wall again select wall structure and select this basic 9 inch concrete wall okay and then in the depth click here and then make sure you selected the bottom foundation all right so location line would be face exterior which is going to be easier so I'm gonna start my wall from here and I'm just gonna drop it here just keep snapping so maybe you have to zoom in and that's it cancel that command now let's have a look at our structural wall so I'm gonna go to my 3d plan and now as you can see that our structural wall is done okay so that's pretty cool I'm gonna go to my I'm gonna try selecting this this is on our floor one and with this I'm gonna go and click on edit boundary select this wall and I'm going to give the value of let's say 10 feet okay and then I'm gonna click on this button it's going to do that the other way okay 10 feet I'm gonna increase that to about 11 feet okay and then accept that and now let's have a look in the 3d so we got our structural wall done and I've got this floor coming out so we can make a step here and our railing is going to be about here okay so this is pretty much what we have right now so now I'm gonna go to my floor one plan and here I'm gonna add some interior to my drawing now so this is basically a room this is kind of kitchen this is our room that's another room and this is our bath and toilet whatever it's in there okay all right so let's add some stuff so I'm gonna go to my component and then I'm gonna select this place a component and let's load a family so I need a bed so I'm gonna go to US Imperial and let's find a bed so I'm gonna go to my furniture beds and I'll select this bed this is all right so I'm gonna double click on it it's gonna load that to my project and now as you can see that I want the bed side to be this wall okay so I'm gonna press spacebar spacebar to rotate the bed it's really cool so I'm gonna just drop it about here Okay, so now I have added some interior to my drawing. I'm gonna go and show you guys in a 3D view. I'm gonna save the project. Okay, so this is what we have right now. We got our foundation wall, we got our slab there. I've got the walls and I've got some interior inside my building. Okay, so next what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna make a surface first, okay? So to make a surface, what you do is basically go to your side plan, actually it's massing inside, click on top of surface 
and you've got the elevation of one inch so make sure you select that okay make sure you if it's something else in feet make sure you change that to one inch okay after that you can just click click here click four points and it's gonna make a topo surface for you except that now I'm gonna go to my 3d view now let's see what we have okay so we got our structural wall down to the surface and I've got pretty much set up okay now we're gonna add a roof to our building okay so I'm gonna go and change this to hidden line okay and let's go to our roof slab okay so here I'm gonna go and select my roof command click on this arrow button and click on roof by footprint okay click here all right so before we start making a roof what do you do you want to type a value of overhang so I want to give value of let's say two feet this is going to be two feet outside from our wall so if I hover over my cursor you see that this dotted line that means that's the value of that line okay all right so you can basically draw a roof by using these tools but I'll, 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 what I recommend is picking wall is better so select that pick wall option and just click let's say if you move your cursor to the right it's gonna draw a roof on the right it's just spacebar a tab press um, move your cursor to the left okay so which will make this dotted line to the left click here and then click here so you gotta keep clicking all right so here and I'm gonna select here and I'm gonna select here like this line and select this line okay and now what do you do now is basically click on this modify and it should give you error I'm gonna get rid of this get rid of this line and I'm gonna get rid of this line okay and then I'm gonna select my line command I'm gonna start from here go up to here go up to here and I finish that here okay and then select your trim and extend tool select this line and select the line it's gonna fix that select this line and select that line okay done all right so to accept the roof it's just simply click on this tick mark it's gonna make a roof let's go to our 3d view now okay I'm gonna change that to shaded all right so this is what we have right now I'm gonna just hold on my shift key well there's another thing I want to show you here if you select this and then go down here and I click here and then click on hide element it's gonna temporarily hide that element okay you can hide any element you want okay so if I just go down as you can see that this is an opening there so there we have an opening okay so I want to select my roof again okay and then I'm gonna click on edit footprint I'm gonna select this and I'm going to uncheck divine slope so I'm gonna uncheck that and then I'm gonna accept that and now that's what we have right now so we're not defining slope here okay which is very cool so now we have the openings right so to get rid of that opening what do you do basically it's very easy you get to select the wall so I'm gonna select this wall and I'm gonna hold on my control key and accept that and I'm gonna select this wall again I'm gonna select this wall and hold on your shift key to orbit control click here to add that wall and now click on this attach top base click here and then you select your roof what it's going to do now is basically it's gonna attach those walls all the way up to the roof so it's pretty cool right all right so we got that done I'm gonna click here and then go back to your normal view reset temporary isolate okay so this is what we have so far all right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try making a railing here okay so let's say I'll go and select this railing command by sketch okay and I'm gonna draw start my line from here go all the way up here and then take your cursor for one second about here and then go down it's gonna let you apply okay done and I select here done and then you accept it okay this is what you have now how easy is that right wow okay so we got that railing now and then here I want to make another railing click here again start from here 
to about here except that so we have the railing here this is like the opening now now I'm gonna add a pillar okay so select that column well you can select structural column or architecture I'm gonna prefer architectural column I'm just gonna drop that here well for that we're gonna go to overflow one plan okay so we need the column about here right so select that column make sure it's a structural column architectural column okay and then just drop it about here okay so now let's have a look what kind of column we have available so I'm select that and these are the columns available well I'm not happy with that so I'm just gonna get rid of it architectural column Lord family go to US Imperial columns try selecting one more time okay so we got that column now I'm gonna go here it's 24 inch I'm gonna select 18 inch and I'm gonna drop one column about let's say about here and that's it that's pretty much it so let's go to a 3d you know so this is what we have right I'm gonna select my floor again added footprint and here we could we have to do something else okay so to add a surface down below what I can do is basically I'm just gonna go and select it and define slope okay and accept that let's see what we have all right so this is pretty much what we got right now okay so let's select that column again we can edit it go to your width so here you can type let's say I'm going to type 9 inch okay and diameter is going to be about 0 by 9 inch okay apply okay done so it's a weird looking column we have here but it's fine okay so we got that column there I'm not sure if I should apply a column there as well so I can just select it and make a copy of it from here copy of it and then just drop that about here and then you maybe have to move it okay maybe it's better that if you go to your okay so it's better if you go to your first floor plan to look at the columns okay so I'm gonna just move it to the corner about here and I'm gonna move this to about here I know it's a weird looking column but just to show you guys how to do the column work okay so we have this thing here now it's a bit off so what I do is basically I'm just gonna get rid of this railing I don't like it and get rid of this railing as well and I'm gonna go to my first floor plan and let's just move that those columns a little bit upwards about here okay and then just move that here as well so just gonna eyeball it done let's go to a 3d plan now okay so done so we got our columns there door there if you want to add a railing up to you guys but I'm not really happy with that so well there's another way if you could want to do the roof here it was um, basically you have to make a bit more thickness for the roof so which wasn't a good idea so this is what we have all right so but so many things that you could do let's say if I want to add go to your massing get a tree that's too big so I'm just gonna get a small six meter tree maybe drop it here maybe drop it here this is just the rendering stuff okay okay so there's so many things that you could do in this drawing I'm gonna go to my floor one plan and here I've shown you walls, doors, interior, windows, roof and floor, okay? These are the basic components of your drawing, okay? Well, I can't cover everything in one video. So just last thing I want to show you here is this annotate tab. So you got your all the dimensions here. Let's say if you want to add a linear dimension, a line dimension, angular, radial, all the stuff available here. For the text, you just click here click on your drawing and start typing your text which is really easy and these are the options if anyone familiar with any word processing software you are good to go and I'm gonna go to my manage tab okay 
just want to show you last thing that project information if you click here here you can type organization name your description author building name and project details everything you can fill it here let's say I will type author name Oasis alright so Oasis and I click OK and then in your project browser if you go to your sheets let's go add a sheet by the way so click on a sheet I'm gonna add matrix sheet I'm gonna click on load you can go and select the sheet if you have some available but I'm just gonna select this AD metric and now this is the sheet okay so if I go here you can see auto project name named everything okay so now let's go to our project information and let's say I'm gonna type something here type something here and issue date this project number this click OK and now as you can see that it's been updated automatically so I've got issue date that project name that all right so let's go to our 3d view now okay so I'm gonna finish this tutorial soon but just want to let you guys know that I'll be making the second part of this tutorial in which I'll be teaching you how to document your plan I'll probably be uploading that video in a week well if you have any question about this video let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends there's one thing I want to tell you guys that the next video is going to be documenting your plan and a rendering and animation in Revit so stay tuned for that alright alright guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers